the first possession of the game. Again, London down quite a few players here early on, but we're going to see how this tempo goes. As Ali Hartzish, the former Lion, goes in with a little jump hook, can't get it. He's a player that they need to get it. London Lions, but more importantly, Farrell Hodges is, is in good form. Well, Taylor just missing on the penetration. Can Caledonia get something quick? Transition three is up by Patrick Wynn again. You called it the play to look out for. Sam Decker, no Mo Shalawadi. So four pivotal pieces there uh, of, of London Lions success so, so far this year. Morgan go for a post up. No foul call. Good defense. But again, the Gladiators with another chance. Just pulled the trigger right away. Yeah, but more concerningly for London Lions, they're just not reactive. Patrick Wheeling gets an open three, and then you've got Onwas in the corner. Way too much time in space. London Lions are going to have to figure out a way on low against Sharma. Well, shown a bit more hot here. Just puts his hand in the cookie jar. Wheeling's made one three. Goes for another one. Again, that's something they are going to try to exploit. It's up that is just struggling to get this one inbound. But you can see already the GB general, Luke Nelson, chasing his teammate around the court. For another three, this one's up and beautifully tucked away in the Gladiators now, building a bit of confidence. Well, along with his colleague Patrick Whelan, Ian DeBoss has had a good, great start to the season so far. 14 points per game for him as well. Yeah, nice play off the pick and roll, a hesitation. Now, Gladiators did a very good job of defending that, but it almost became... ...off the bench also, and what you're essentially doing is you're not having a major drop-off. So after your starting five unit uh, are, 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 are having to be relieved through through, through fatigue, you know, you're, you're bringing strength off the bench. This is where Gladiators need to be clinical. Finds Ali Hartzich, goes up, big man's gonna... Oh, he missed a wide-open layup. When it comes up, a loose ball, no foul calls. Oh, Patrick Whelan there, was expecting shooter percentage as well. Well, we know where to go here. Makes a tough pass for Ali Hodzic. Just wondering how no London Lions player came up with an interception. If you talk about players that were featured for Great Britain, you wouldn't have seen them in the league. But now we have Luke Nelson, we have Patrick Whelan, we have Josh Sharma, you know, Gabe Olesheni as well. Seeing the best British talent coming back, you know, it does say a lot of... Kavosa just stumbling. Hodzic coming up with another steal. Question is, can Caledonia extend the lead? DeBose left wide open, takes a three, fires it home. Now it's a seven point lead here to the team from Scott. A three pointer would make this a double digit lead for the Gladiators. Whelan pulls up from 15, takes this one, just can't get it. Buttrick battling for offensive boards. No, bad shot on that for me, for, for Trent Buttrick then. Way too quick, not, not rebounders inside. And again, another aggressive shot. This time he knocks it down, well contested. Well, that was right at the end of the first quarter. It's a mountain to climb. Oh, a long way to go, Josh. Yeah, but he'll be pleased with how the, the first quarter went. And this is a Caledonia team as well, 9-5. and five. So, you know, a win today here secures them a top three spot. Glad's just trying to find his spacing here on the offense. Really being smothered on defense. Two casuals, as you mentioned. Good intensity that time from London Lions. If you saw Luke Nelson... It's at the moment, just trying to... Figure out how his team are going to battle around this as Whelan draws a power against Jordan Taylor. Oh, I think a technical foul's been called. Must have been Kieran Sandy then and Coach Bodgett's having a little word and an uncharacteristic miss there from Patrick Whelan. He does. That's just an excellent catch and finish there. Brilliant pass on the money. But Gabe Olashini is a guy that cannot speak highly enough. Johnson goes in for the follow-up. Lions had their last donut, but Ant, nobody called box out. No, they didn't. Olesheni seemed to miss time his jump on, on that occasion, and Kyle Johnson just sort of swans through the key there and puts it back. Well, that's the play they like to go for. Connor Morgan on the perimeter. In great form, and he's a, a player you want to have to try and run off the line and make him do something else. Well, they find Whelan, bit of a fumble, but he can't hit the three-pointer. A traveling violation, good call by Eddie. Far. Well, the tempo of the British game, a very quick one to say the least, has clearly thought about the three, doesn't take it. That's a bullet from the mid-range, again, hits the side of the backboard. Again, he's just trying to find that pathway on his return from a season out due to injury. But, you know, speaking of Kareem Cooley, one of the most highly regarded youth players of British passes goes up, count it! Wow! Patrick Whelan going to the... Their leader, Patrick Whelan, for a potential four-point play here. Oh, 
again before he came to lesser riders he spent some time in the lower divisions of spain but you know it, it was those two seasons for the game came back he wasn't in love with basketball anymore while playing out in spain even to the point where he was questioned and whether he wanted to continue but the transition back to the british basketball reju rejuvenate first personal foul of the game he's just trying to chase luke nelson off the ball screen i mean two players maybe a, there are a lot of similarities in their game of course i mean one thing i appreciate about patrick whelan and luke nelson they know how to lose defenders with various post players. We've seen that at the international level. Now we're seeing it here. I mean, young players, if you're watching this game, watch closely. If you're a shooting guard or you're a shooter, watch how both Patrick Whelan and, of course, Luke Nelson get a left here in the first half. Makes them both. Caledonia. Fine, Whelan's got to force this one up. Shot is up. And again, that goes into the accredited media zone. For Basel fans, it is indeed. shot. Again, going into the halftime break with a nine-point lead here on the road against London Lions, a big positive, and now it's a ten-point ball game. Remember, the biggest lead of the game so far has been 11 points as Patrick Whelan hits now another three-pointer. There's a lot of GB internationals on the court at the moment, and everyone's showing out, just as I'd say that. Luke Nelson skips his way to the rim and finishes with the cop. If anything. Well, at this level as well, the opposition know what you're going to do. They should have scouted. They understand your plays, especially this late in the season as well. You'll, it's not what you do sometimes, it's how you do it. And as you say, Josh, as a professional basketball player, you just have to adapt. Getting those volumes, you're always going to give yourself three points and put yourself in a good position to win the basketball game. Oh, great job by DuBose coming up a loose ball. Wheeler goes in, avoids the block, but can't finish. Good contest there from Olesheni, did enough. Well, Wheeler picked up his dribble. Nobody made an effort to get open, but they still keep this one alive. Bose finds Wheeler, bit of time and space. Three is up, no good. <laughs> Bradley could both. Players around you, but it's behind the scenes, it's the practices, and then given, when given the opportunity, it's taking advantage of it. And Bradley Cabos has decided to go down that avenue as opposed to going to America or to, to, to Europe. Looking at the scoreline, you can tell which is the better team in this third quarter, and that's the London Lions. Well, Pelitz are going for a three-point and back iron, can't get it. Wheeling getting the offensive rebound. It's for Caledonia, so the depth, the strength in numbers for the London Lions certainly paying dividends here in this game so far. All right, turn it over, Wheeling's going to lay this one up, he's going to regain the lead. Well, lay it up, I said, he's going to throw it down, actually. I think he might have heard me on that one. He said, I'm... So far defensively causing Lions to turn the ball over, more importantly, converting those turnovers. Again, they leave Gabe Olesheni wide open, exploiting Caledonia's defense. Just incredible. Jordan Taylor. Sandy with a rebound. While Grantham trying to go all the way, but they don't get the ball to him. Skabosa loses balance, turns it over, and that's going to be the fourth and final team foul for Lions to give before sending the Gladiators to the free. I went with the Lions for this game, but it could go the other way. Yeah, when I saw the, the lineup, I had concerns for the London Lions today, and uh, this is a category. Oh, Jordan Taylor handed his face. Stress rate at the end of this one. Three point ball game. Really coming off one screen. Bit of contact goes off the backboard. A smooth move by the GB International. Big. Going back to Taylor. Taylor looking to isolate. Got it by Whelan. Finds Grantham. Fires up the three, just can't get it, goes out of bounds. Well, it's going to work. Caledonia, lack of movement there. And well, clearly can give him a two-point lead, but the three-point is way off the mark. That's what you like about Prince Almas, keeping the lines. Much you're trying to isolate like a god, but he's got to get rid of it somehow. Takes a tough shot, it's up, and again, no good, but Wheeler getting an offensive board. Going to run a pick and roll. They've got to be patient. They've got to execute it better. Willem finds a bit of separation. Mid range is up. An ice cool from the GB International. Nice, just too much on it. Again, could have been a two possession ball game. Lions potentially could tie it up. Maybe take the lead. There's a three. It's up. No good. Great job by the Gladiators keeping Kieran Sandy on it to this Gladiators team. Played very well in the FIBA Euro Cup this season. Wheelan's wide open, pop fix, takes another three, it's up, got it! Big time three, putting Caledonia back up. Doesn't result in a three, but he certainly hasn't lost any confidence. That's the one thing about Caboza, we have seen it now, Matt Morgan, well, can they give away a terrible foul? Well, you can see the second chance points of Deptak has left here in the fourth quarter. Caledonia, no more fouls to give away. Caboza doesn't shoot this one, Morgan will take it, three is up, no good. Falls into the hands of Grant the press. Wow, you can feel the intensity now building up. 
Both teams increase desperation. Wheeler goes up, finishing under intense pressure, and regains the lead here for... Decision. Well, they go to Morgan, can give them the lead. Three is up, can't get it. Again, they should have gone to what you said, and Go inside to Gabe Olusheni, get to the free throw line. Put the Caledonian Gladys under pressure. Well, the bucket right now. Well, there's a deep three, it's up. And it's too quick. Very oh, quick. Rushed. Very quick. And he trying to hold on. Now we're under 10. DuBose penetrates. Finds Wheeling wide open. Three is up. And maybe, just maybe, the Braveheart has come out here. It's four points for him. One for five from the floor. Well, finds Wheeling. And again, Tom is on their side now. It's going to be the 14 foul for Lions. Times of Scottish basketball. Four seconds now. Wheeler penetrates. Goes in all the way. Goes up. Can't finish it. Well, Basel fans, we thank you for joining us.